VMware vSphere 8. X Professional 2 volts 0 minus 21.23 exam dumps questions are the best material for you to study all the related topics. Share some VMware certification 2 volts 0 minus 21.23 exam dumps questions here. 1. Which two data store types store the components of a virtual machine as a set of objects? Choose 2. A. VMware Virtual Machine File System, VMFS B. VMware vSAN C. Network File System, NFS 3 D. vSphere Virtual Volumes, vVols E. Network File System, NFS 4.1 2. An administrator creates a virtual machine that contains the latest company-approved software, tools and security updates. Company policy requires that only full clones are allowed for server workloads. A combination of which two tasks should the administrator complete to prepare for the deployment of this virtual machine for multiple users? Choose 2. A. Set appropriate permissions on the virtual machine. B. Create a virtual machine customization specification. C. Upgrade the virtual hardware. D. Convert the virtual machine to a template. E. Take a snapshot of the virtual machine. 3. During the staging of a patch on a vCenter server appliance, an error was encountered and the process stopped. An administrator resolved the root cause and is ready to continue with the staging of the patch. From the vCenter management interface, which action should the administrator take to continue the process from the point at which the error occurred? A. Use the stage and install option to resume the staging. B. Use the resume option to resume the staging. C. Use the unstage option to restart the staging. D. Use the stage only option to restart the staging. 4. An administrator is adding a new SG host to an existing vSphere cluster. When selecting the cluster, the administrator is unable to use the cluster quick start workflow to add and configure the additional host. What could be the root cause of this issue? A. The administrator has previously dismissed the cluster quick start workflow. B. The administrator must manually add the host to the cluster before using the cluster quick start workflow. C. The administrator has not been assigned the required permissions to use the cluster quick start workflow. D. The administrator must enable the cluster quick start workflow option in VMware vCenter. 5. A company has two sites. Site A and Site B. The administrator would like to manage the VMware vCenter inventories in both sites from a single vSphere client session. Which vCenter feature must be configured? A. VMware Certificate Authority B. VMware Site Recovery Manager C. vCenter Single Sign-On D. Enhanced Linked Mode 6. An administrator plans to update the supervisor cluster and has noticed some of the Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters are running an incompatible version. Which action must the administrator take before proceeding with the supervisor cluster update? A. Update all Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters to the latest version prior to the supervisor cluster update. B. No action is needed. Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters will be updated automatically as part of the update process. C. No action is needed. Incompatible Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters can be manually updated after the supervisor cluster update. D. 
update incompatible Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters prior to the supervisor cluster update. 7. Which three vSphere features are still supported for Windows-based virtual machines when enabling vSphere's virtualization-based security feature? Choose 3. A. vSphere vMotion B. PCI Pass-Through C. vSphere High Availability HA D. vSphere Fault Tolerance E vSphere Distributed Resources Scheduler DRS F Hot Add of CPU or Memory 8. An administrator must gracefully restart a virtual machine VM, through the vSphere client but the option is grayed out. The administrator has full administrative access on VMware vCenter and all the objects available in vCenter but has no access to log on to the operating system. Which action should the administrator take to meet the objective? A. Upgrade the virtual hardware B. Migrate the VM to another host C. Install VMware tools D. Restart vCenter 9. Which VMware offering will allow an administrator to manage the lifecycle of multiple vCenter server instances in a single software as a service? SaaS based solution to help drive operational efficiency? A. VMware vSphere with Tanzu, B. VMware Cloud Foundation, C. VMware vSphere plus D. VMware ARIA Suite Lifecycle 10. Which feature would allow for the non-disruptive migration of a virtual machine between two clusters in a single VMware vCenter instance? A. vSphere vMotion B. Cross vCenter Migration C. vSphere Storage vMotion D. vSphere Fault Tolerance